I'm never ready. Ah, we have more. Somebody else is showing yeah, up. Yeah, so we need. Good. Is someone expected or? Right, or you want to be here? Okay. So, good morning, everyone. Um, <clears throat> for those of you who are not familiar with the space, uh, if you go outside the door and take a right, before the end of the building, the bathrooms are there. So this building, if you need to use them. Uh, we have two hours, and I have about 200 hours of material I want to give you. <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to see how that's going to work out. And we'll take a break in about an hour or so, just for about 10 minutes, so you can clear your head and go out, and things will settle, and then we can continue. Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, if you have questions, um, see if you can keep them for the break, and then we'll write them down and see if I can get to answer them. If they're really urgent, then ask on the spot, and I don't feel compelled to answer all questions. Uh, those who have not met me, my name is Ofer. Uh, I started doing yoga in, when was it, 1979 or something like that. Um, Today we're going to be looking a little bit at strength and sugi yoga in particular. Um, who has experienced sugi yoga before? Please raise your hand. Uh, most people, that's very nice. Thank you. So, um, you know, a few things, a few of the concepts, and I'm very happy about that. Maybe we can uh, leapfrog a few. So, <clears throat> being that we're focusing on strength today, uh, we're going to start with a little bit of breathing. Now, one of the things that um, the body uses when it produces strength or power for you is oxygen. And what we can do is to kind of front load the system put a lot more oxygen in the bloodstream before we take on physical activity. And we're going to do it today by controlled hyperventilation. So what you can do, uh, position yourself in any way that is most comfortable for you, so you don't have to think about it while we're <coughs> breathing. Uh, so either remain sitting or lie down if you want a chair. Uh, we have chairs in there. Uh, if you prefer to stand, you are welcome to stand. Um, just arrange yourself comfortably so that you don't have to pay attention to anything except your breathing and the other things that happen to you while you are doing the breathing, okay? So just arrange yourself comfortably. Now, controlled hyperventilation basically means that you breathe in bring in a lot more oxygen than you need for the activity that you are doing. And so if you're sitting or just lying down, you're doing very little physical activity. And so just a little bit of breathing is going to be more than what you need. Does that make sense? Okay. So we'll do a little bit of that. And um, basically the exercise is going to be like this. I'm going to ask you to take some deep breaths and you can take deep breaths to the chest or to the belly or full yoga breaths, whatever appeals to you right now. And we're going to breathe at a rhythm that is a little bit faster than your normal. And what that's going to do is have more oxygen coming in than you're using. That's basically hyperventilating on purpose. And we're going to uh, keep at it for a little bit. If you hyperventilate a lot, you're going to start getting dizzy. Um, so if you start getting dizzy, back off from it or simply hold your breath for a little bit. Your body is going to consume extra oxygen and you'll return to feeling normal. Okay? Um, yeah, so arrange yourself comfortably. 
and bring your attention to your breath and just notice okay, notice air coming in air going out <clears throat> where is there movement in your body when you are inhaling and exhaling now, when you are inhaling air comes in and somewhere in your body expands and when you exhale somewhere in your body contracts and air gets expelled and I'd like you to become very familiar with the areas in your body that expand with inhalation and contract with exhalation so is it in the front of the body is it in the back of the body is it on the right side is it on the left side is it in several areas at once is it the top half of the torso is it the bottom half of the torso just become familiar with your own breathing Now for the next few breaths, maybe five or ten of those, keep breathing in the same area, it means the same parts expand and contract, we're not adding anything, we're not subtracting anything. The same areas that anyway expand and contract, have them continue doing it. All we're going to do is change the speed of the breathing by just a little bit. So. Make it a little faster, not a lot faster, so it doesn't induce anxiety responses. But just enough faster that you know you're breathing faster at a rate that is still comfortable. And notice if this extra breathing starts having echoes that means other responses that are indirect. Maybe some places are starting to tingle. Maybe some places are starting to warm up. Maybe there are other physiological phenomena that are happening. And keep breathing at this slightly increased rate until some changes begin to happen. That you are clear that they are the result of breathing deliberately faster than usual in a controlled hyperventilating. Now after the next exhalation, wait without air in the lungs for just a few seconds. You will notice whatever effects you manage to create will gradually abate. And when you feel the need to inhale again, then resume normal breathing. like a show of hands for anyone who felt these um, changes in the physiology and okay, one, two, three, four, 
A lot of people did. Okay. Those of you who did not feel any changes, um, you need to breathe either a little faster or a little deeper in order to make sure you have those effects. Okay? I want to find out if there are any questions right now before we continue. Did anybody get lightheaded? Okay. Did anybody get very lightheaded? No one. Okay, so it's done well. Excellent. So what we're going to do whenever we're doing uh, our so-called strength training today, we're going to precede it by a few of these deep breaths with the intention of loading the system with more oxygen. So when your body uses the oxygen, it has more to use and it's less dependent on your immediate breathing. Okay? So, uh, if you'd please bring yourself to sitting and we look a little bit at strength and the elements of it. All right. So, in terms of strength, uh, everybody know, knows that the muscles are what produces strength for us. And then there are a few things that are a little bit behind the scenes. So the musculature, in order to continue working, <coughs> needs to have nutrients come in, and the byproduct.